Now we just saw how we could save a variable using prompt, but let's dive a little bit deeper into variables, specifically the types of variables. Now there are five types of variables, and we're just gonna go one by one. The first one is a number. By the way, these are in no particular order. Another type is called a Boolean. So let's just go ahead and write this in our comments right above. Boolean can be true or false. It's almost like a toggle, like an on-off switch, you know, is this working or is this not working? Third one we're going to do is a string. What, write whatever you want here. Next one is an array. Now an array is actually a collection of different values. So you could have an array full of numbers. You could have an array full of strings. You could mix them up and, and have an array of Boolean, string, numbers, um, really up to you. I mean, the best one, honestly, for the most part, you typically use an array of numbers or an array uh, of string values. You might even have an array of objects. We're not gonna talk about objects today, but objects are the fifth value type four variables, and we're not going to jump into that quite yet. So we have our four different variable types. We have a number, a boolean, a string value, and an array. Remember, a string value is always in quotes. All right, A boolean is not, a number is not. So keep that in mind. You need to have the quotes here. Very important. Again, we're not including semicolons, so keep that in mind. This all totally works, and I would recommend testing this out by doing something like console.log1 and seeing that 12, let's just go ahead and print this to our console, and there's 12 right there. So we can just go ahead and test this out. So what I want you to do is, now that you know these different Boolean types, I want you to create at least 10 different variables using each one of these types. So go ahead and write different strings, write different a list of different arrays, maybe one all of booleans, one all of numbers, one all of string values, write a bunch of different numbers. One actually really cool thing I can show you with numbers is um, you can do 12 plus 24 and then we'll go back and do console.log1, pull back up our page, look at that, it says 36. So you can actually do um, different kinds of calculations in your variables, you can mix variables together. We're going to get all into that in a little bit. 